Like I heard, you know, people couldn't move after taking Johnson and Johnson. They have blood clots. I was like, blood clot. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Behind the music is my search for inner peace, traveling, and love. Welcome to the Wildcat Diaries. What up, Wildcats? It's your girl, Laura Laura, and I am here with another video. So I just wanted to keep this video very brief, but I wanted to talk about my experience getting the COVID vaccine um, and kind of give my insight on it, my experience on it. Hopefully it can help y'all who are contemplating, should I get it, should I not? Well, here's someone who's taking it and here's how it's going so far. Do I regret taking the COVID vaccine? I'm more so leaning towards the yes. And here's my reason, okay? Hear me out. Um, the reason why I would say I'm leaning more towards the yes of regretting it is because one, I didn't do my own research. I didn't do enough research before taking it. I kind of took it because I was influenced to. So I have a friend, I was staying with a friend who works in the field of, you know, he's a scientist, so they test things out and he's more knowledgeable of the science aspects when it comes to this, right? He's black because, you know, for a lot of us in the black community, we are very reluctant to get in um, the vaccine and just vaccines in general. The medical system has not protected black bodies as it should just like they protect everyone else. So for black people in the black community around the world, whether it's in America, in Africa, the Caribbean, a lot of us are very reluctant when it comes to the medical system and things like getting vaccines. So I get it. But I do have a friend in that field, um, not necessarily the medical field, but in the science field, who is very like, yeah, people should get the vaccine because the more people that get the vaccine, the more we can eradicate the COVID vaccine faster and it wouldn't stay like the flu, you know? Cause now every season we have to take a flu shot. Um, but if a lot of people get the vaccine, we'll be able to fight it better than if people don't. So he kind of convinced me to get it and that's why I regret it because I didn't do my own research. I kind of went, um, with his, you know, opinion, um, instead of just going on Google and finding articles and reading more about it, right? I'm sorry about the, um, the wind. Oh, sorry about the wind here. I wouldn't say I did it blindly just by listening to him, but his brother works in the medical field. He's a doctor, actually, and he took it back in January. And he didn't grow any extra limbs, so I was like, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt just to take it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what prompted me to take it, even though I didn't do enough research. But for me, I would say, I, even though I didn't do enough research. Secondly, I'm leaning more towards regretting taking it because the vaccine is only six months. So one incentive for me, or one incentive that drove me to take it was the fact that, you know, I was like, eventually they're, they're gonna want people who are vaccinated. Um, they're gonna want, you know, I was thinking, uh, one of the incentives that drove me to take the vaccine Another incentive that drove me to take the vaccine was the fact that I was thinking, hmm, if you want to travel, eventually they're going to want to see if you're vaccinated. So if I'm coming to Jamaica, let me just, you know, um, be proactive and take it before leaving. But I regret that because even though I had a good reason, the vaccine only is effective for like six months. So it's like, eventually I'm going to have to take it again. And it's not something that's just one time, right? And if now they're not requiring it to travel, like right now I live in Jamaica um, for the time being, and the only thing they needed was for me to take my test two, three days before coming, and um, also, you know, authorizations, things like that. So I was very product, uh, I was very proactive with that. But they didn't need to see a vaccinated car for me. So I'm like, why did I take something foreign in my body when 
in six months i'm gonna have to take it again so what was even the point you know what i mean they're not asking for it to travel right now so why did i do it another reason why i'm also leaning towards regretting it is because i took the johnson and johnson and you know i just be paranoid as hell like i heard you know people couldn't move after taking johnson and johnson they have blood clots i was like blood clot like what are you talking about like you know what i'm saying like like whoa so johnson and johnson in, in itself as a company has a bad rep so the fact that they had you know side effects with your vaccine made me just like oh my god why did i do this so now every time i have like a little like eh, like ache um, in my leg it doesn't matter if i was working out i'm sore i'm just like it's the vaccine you know so i'm mad paranoid because of the fact that it was johnson and johnson but i took it because it was only one shot so would i advise people would I advise people who haven't taken the vaccine to get vaccinated? I would say that as far as me, I didn't have any side effects. Um, the most that I had was like maybe a little bit of fatigue, but I didn't have a fever. I didn't have any COVID um, symptoms. I also had COVID before, so, and that's another story, okay? I had COVID before and it wasn't pretty at all. But I don't know if that's also another reason why that vaccine didn't affect me that much. But yeah, I didn't really react to it. So everybody is different. So I would say for you, you know, it is a gamble taking the vaccine. Um, does it make me feel better that I'm taking the vaccine? Uh, I don't know because I'm, Jamaica's on lockdown right now, and it's not like we're going out doing crazy shit. And in the city, people are really masked, right? So I'm like, does it really make a difference? I don't know. But would I advise people to get the vaccine? I would say do your own research um, and see where you stand. The science says that the more people that take it, the better. And also, you know, I know, like I said, a lot of our communities were reluctant because we been used as you know guinea pigs and tested on so we're like eh, and people feel like it's rushed but my friend that's in the science field told me like people have jobs where they're testing things every single day right so these kind of formulas for things like this whether covid is man-made or not these kind of formulas for vaccines are being created every single day they're being tested on every single day so the fact that is people feel like it's rush is legitimate because there is an aspect of the pharma pharmaceutical industry that we're very resentful about because mostly all they want is money right and they just want to rush to take out you know bring out the vaccine to see who's gonna you know sell more or whatever trying to make money it makes sense why people are reluctant but on the other side, you know, there are people who are trustworthy, who work on these things, who want to help people. And, um, you know, my friend is one of them and he's saying that these type of formulas have been tested on way before. So, um, you know, the chances of you getting a side effect, like a blood clot was like for Johnson and Johnson was like one in how many million, like three and something million. Right. So it's not like it's, it's, it was a big thing. So I would say do your own research and really sit with it and make your own decision. Don't be influenced by other people like I was. Would I take it again if I had the chance? If I would take it again if the vaccine was effective for longer than six months, I would have taken it again. The most part for me that I regret is the fact that it's not you know effective past six months so i'm like eh i could have just waited but um then again it's probably my privilege talking so yeah with that being said i hope this video was very useful for you and your decision to get vaccinated or not um i know a lot of people want to get vaccinated in other countries other than like the u.s because the u.s they've been they've been bringing out the u.s have supply of vaccines but for some reason canada is having a hard time i'm not really sure about other countries but um yeah i hope this video you know kind of gave you an insight of 
a better insight of what you want to do when it comes to getting the COVID vaccine. So yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. It's your girl, Laura Laura. Peace and love. Until next time. Bye-bye.